It is the second stop in the 2014 Lamborghini Blancpain Super Trofeo Asia Series. This week, the team is in the beautiful country made of thousands of islands, Indonesia. Teams wondered if the race can go on. And with no word from the organizers, frustration was mounting. The team and other international teams had to wait in line for fuel, which also arrived late. The tire containers are still nowhere in sight. Another snag for the crew when they were told that there was no compressed air for their air jacks. Drama after continued drama. The drivers arrived early in the morning and were happy to see the cars in the pit. But they were told that the session might not happen. Then, the next bit of good news, the tyre container arrived and everyone did quick work to fit the tyres on and do final checks in the preparation for the next free practice session. It was all hands on deck, even the drivers pitched in to get work done. Finally, it was time to head out. Everybody seemed relieved that they won't be missing out on the session. Dominic took the car out for the first part of the session. Then it was Zen. Let's hear from Dom on how his session went. Uh, I think the first few laps, I think the track is still a bit green. I think not much car been running, so I think the, some part the tarmac is a bit loose on the track, so uh, it's a bit dangerous. But uh, I think we'll just uh, let more cars run and we'll see how. So, a little bit understeer now, but I think it's partly because of the track, not enough rubber. So I think we'll let the track rubber in and then we'll see how, how, go, how it goes. How's it? Okay, bumpy, very bumpy. Uh, turn 5, the car is very bumpy. Otherwise, not a lot of grip as usual. Expected. As expected, the circuit proved to be a little bit slippery. Drivers had no traction as the track was still dusty. But it should improve as more cars laid rubber on the track. After practice, Zen and Dom sat down with the team engineer to go through data and review onboard footages from the session and discuss on ways to further improve their driving to suit the circuit. Then off to the pits they went to speak with the crew on the changes that they need to make before the qualifying session the next day. Seats and steering also had to be checked as there was a vast difference in height between the two drivers, making it a bit cramped for Dom. It's qualifying morning and the grid girls are the first ones to head out onto the grid. The car was given a once over before the session with new tyres being fitted onto the car. And hoping to avoid the seat issues Zen faced at the last outing, the crew did further adjustments to Zen's foam seat insert as the one recently made to replace the missing foam did not have enough padding to keep him firmly in place. Finally, it was time to get suited up for the qualifying session. Everyone was a little bit on the edge. It is their first time at the Sento circuit and the delays cut short their preparation time. But despite the ordeal, Team FX Primus Elizo remained positive as they head out. The track remained a little dusty throughout the session, with a lot of pebbles flying. But Dom managed a competitive time despite having the car losing traction towards the end of his session. With the qualifying with the new tyres, I think today I made a, quite a big jump compared to yesterday. But I still don't know where we stand. Uh, the car was uh, getting a little bit understeer after a few laps, so I think maybe I should have took the first lap because uh, I never attacked on the first lap, but overall I think. Uh, the car felt okay, better than yesterday. Soon it was Zen's turn to head out for his stint and the track temperatures continued to rise. Let's hear from Zen on his qualifying session. 
the car has improved definitely compared to yesterday, but uh, I made a lot of mistakes. Uh, I, I guess I overdrive the car, uh, pushing a bit too, too hard, and also the weather is very, very hot as well. Uh, we did try to reduce the tire pressure after Dominic came in, but when I went out, the understeer was still there. Um, otherwise, yes, the car was a lot nicer to drive compared to yesterday, definitely. Um, at this moment, we don't know where we are. I hope that uh, we qualify in the top three. As Zen took some time out to relax and play with his kids, the results were posted and the team qualified in second and seventh respectively, giving the team good grid positions for both races. In between the qualifying and race one, the team practiced driver change, a crucial part of the long race. Just one second off the mark could mean the difference between a podium finish. Once again, the grid girl lineup signals the time for the upcoming race. Dominic suits up to start the race for the team. Lining up in second on the grid gives the team a good position to scramble for turn one. Max and Andrea Weiser lines up just ahead on pole in car number nine. The duo were half a second faster during the qualifying session and have proven to be quite a tough pairing at the start of the Lamborghini Blanc Palm Super Trofeo Asia Series. Dom takes off for the warm-up lap and it was green for go. Dom did not have the best of starts. He lost a couple of positions before the first turn, but he kept his pace and followed the main pack. of laps on, one of the local drivers made a mistake, parking his car in the middle of the turn to bring out the safety car. This enabled Dominic, who was down in sixth, to close the gap to the leaders. The rising track temperatures caused the team to worry slightly about the engine temperatures. But after three laps behind the safety car, the race resumed. And right at the start, car number 24 missed a turn and short straight into the gravel. Thankfully, it did not cause any delay to the other cars. Dom continued to try and close the gap and to find a smart way to overtake drivers as his car felt a little underpowered. Having no straight line speed, Dom resorted to braking late to gain time and position. It proved to be a lot of hard work. As he caught up to the two cars running at the end of the pack, he made a late braking maneuver on the inside. But the third placed car closed the gap and he nudged car 17 into a spin. The race continued for both drivers, with Dom having dropped back down the order. Then all too soon, it was time to change drivers. Zen waited patiently by the pit for Dom to come in. The immense heat causes the brakes to heat and smoke, but it's not something to be concerned about. Zen just has to be a little bit careful when he heads out. Zen got the car out safely, but right in the middle of the pack of battling drivers. Meanwhile, back in the pits, Dom has a visit from the driver of car 17, and they had a chat about the nudge earlier. I think it was like the last race. We we're complaining that our engine is not uh, fast enough. I think it was in the race it's shown uh, on the streets. They were just passing me at the start. And then uh, I gained under braking and through corner speed, but this track, they do not have that much uh, high speed corner. So on all the corner exit, they are pulling away from me, even though I'm catching an inside. I tried to set the car up for the exit, but they still pull away from me. It's not so good for us. Uh, I think we had to fix the engine for the next round. Definitely had to do something, but uh, yeah, it's uh, not very easy this. On track, Zen fought hard to regain some positions, but the lack of power is making it hard work for him. Zen was finding it difficult to keep up with the cars in front, and in the end, brought the car home safe. Truly a hard-fought race. The car was okay, handling was uh, not bad, I, I wouldn't complain about the handling but our car is really really underpowered. Um, catching up with the guys but no power to pass them. 
can watch from the video later uh, we're side by side and yet I still can't uh, pass the car so uh, we need a more powerful engine I guess otherwise the track's very dirty very bumpy very dusty a couple of uh, I don't know maybe two or three uh, safety car incidents uh, otherwise we'll see we still have no idea what's our result where we end up so uh, hoping uh, to be on the top three but still waiting for the result not sure after a short wait, the result was announced. Team FX Primus Elizo crossed the line in fifth. Not the best of results, but definitely one of the hardest.